Hello and welcome once again in Bali, teaching.net at ICD as a part of preview control series 2. So we'll continue with the series of preview control 2. We already get the information about the child nodes and selected node and root. Now the question is our job is to create the entire structure at runtime. So how do I create the entire structure at the runtime? So once again we create take a preview control on the form. So here is a tribu control with the name tribu control true tribu two so to create a structure at runtime. I used to take a variable with the name root node as tree node and initialize my root node variable equals to tribute two dot nodes dot add add method of tribute control used to return an object variable of tree node class so then I add a content so let's say we'll add VCA as a root node we'll take another sub node with the name here node as tree node each node contains nodes collection so that allows us to add say fy vca and reference of that particular node preserve as a year node so to add as root node whereas to add as child node even each node so year node dot nodes dot add html and year node dot add advancements year node dot nodes dot add c language so there even to add other let's say it to SYBCA and we'll say to the TYBCA and then after if we add right now your node contains reference of second year so it's in bb.net is in data structure DFS so so there is a structure we have FYBCA as well as SYBCA so that's how we can create a structure at the runtime okay so we have root node as a tree node tribu contains node collection which contains add method which allows to node at the runtime right now It contains one of the let's say get all the information about the drives so system namespace contains another namespace with the name IO IO namespace contains directory class it contains a method with the name get directories as well as get logical drives right so prior to access these methods let's import system dot io namespace so we have already imported a namespace with the name system dot io okay. and directory class contains a method named get logical drives the return type of get logical drives is an array of string so Let's take in deem s as string s is an array of string. So I'll initialize s with this deem i as integer and to fill all the information s is an array. Array contains length as a property to get the number of elements. 
so let for loop for i equal to 0 to s dot length minus 1 tribute 2 dot nodes dot add s of i so this allow us to retry information about all the drives here so there we have c drive d drive e drive f as well as c drive system then to remove the selected node once again we select X as tree node right the main objective to select a node from review 1 X equal to review 1 dot selected node if is nothing x equal to two then our job is to display a message box none selected else x dot remove so let's run the application and click on the remove selected node initially right now none node is selected and then to remove a specific node let's say advanced mathematics let's say remove selected if we remove the parent node, then all the sub nodes will be deleted. That's all. One more thing. Let's to expand as well as collapse all the node. So, trivia one contains a method named expand all, which expand all the nodes, as well as another one of the important method is review one dot collapse all so a method expand all expand each and every node of a tribu where as well as uh, collapse all a method which used to collapse all the nodes so this is what the basic information about the tribu control how do we can use in a dot net right thanks